Good morning. Um, today for our math lesson for Ed Puzzle, we're doing something called Camping Story Problems, and it's actually in your student book, and it's page 10 of your student book, so you could follow along with me, and you can actually do the work with me. The video is going to stop, and you're going to answer the questions to the problem after we read them. So Rico gave his sister six boxes of crayons. She was thrilled to get 48 new crayons. How many crayons were in each box if each box had the same number of crayons? So what I know is that there are 48 altogether, and I know that there are six boxes here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, and what I'm looking for is this number here. What am I gonna fill out there, okay? I want you to think about that. You can think about this two different ways. You can think about what times six is 48, or you could think about 48 divided by six equals what? So what's my missing number? Go ahead and put that down um, for the question in the video. What's the missing number? And it's six times what is 48, or 48 divided by six equals what? Well, you might have figured out that if I have, I'm, what I'm looking for is how many groups of six does it take to get to 48? Okay, well, I know that six times two is 12, six times three is 18, six times four is 24, six times five is 30, six times six is 36, six times seven is 42, and six times eight is 48. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, um, there were eight crayons. So each box had eight crayons. And I can show that equation by either six times eight equals 48 or 48 divided by six equals eight. Okay, let's do number seven. There are 36 kids in the class. They need to make four equal teams. How many kids will be on each team? So I need to make four equal teams and how many kids are gonna be on each team. And I know that there's 36 all together. So 36 right here. And I know there's four teams. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, four, okay? Now I could think about it as uh, four times two, four times three, four times four, until I get up to 36. I could do a ratio table. I could do a number line here where I'm doing four to 36, and I can go eight and then 12, 16, 20, and keep on going till I get to 36. And I would realize that I'm thinking about what times four is 36, or 36 divided by four equals what? And that number is going to be, you can go ahead and type that in to the question. And I'm realizing that it's going to be nine kids because there's four teams. And if I divide them all equally to get 36, then I have nine kids. So it's either nine times four equals 36 or 36 divided by four equals nine. Okay, we're gonna do one of the challenges. It says it's time for a picnic. There are eight hot dog buns in a package. 16 people, I'm gonna write the number 16 so I remember that. 16 people are coming to the picnic and you know each person is going to be hungry enough to eat two hot dogs. How many packages of hot dog buns should you buy? So I'm not looking at hot dogs, I'm looking at hot dogs buns. So um, I'm trying to think if there are 16 people and you know each person is going to be hungry enough to eat two hot dogs. So I know the 16 people they're gonna do two hot dogs. So probably I need two buns per person. So I could think of 16 times two equals 32 hot dog buns. But now I'm looking at the problems a little bit uh, closer because it says how many packages of hot dog buns should you buy? And it's telling me there are eight hot dogs in a package. So go ahead in the question and type in how many packages do you think I need? Packages, not buns, packages. 
okay, well, you might have realized that I have to do some division because I know there's 32 hot dog buns and there's eight buns in each um, package. So I have to do 32 divided by eight. So then I'm going to think, okay, what times eight equals 32? Because I know multiplication and division kind of go together hand in hand. So I can check myself. And I know eight times four equals 32. So there's four packages of hot dog buns. Okay. Thank you for recording your answers. And you can do the other two challenges if you would like in your student book. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.